Hey guys, back at the uh, RGPH Ream Furnace again today, and if y'all been watching my videos, you know me and Fritz have uh, reworked a lot of things here. We back in the spring we redid the wiring, went all the way back to the panel. I've got new wire that is grounded now to the furnace, and also we did that to the outdoor unit. Neither one of these were grounded before we did that, and then uh, just recently here in the fall we redid the. He helped me redo the gas line, and now I've got a hard pipe to the through the cabinet like it's supposed to be. No more flex line rubbing on the side of the cabinet. And then we did the uh, we did the condensate. It all looks really good and it's in a whole lot better install but you know I've never tested anything on this furnace before and electrically it's always just ran perfectly and never had any problems but I think it's now that I've got my field piece HS36 so uh, Fritz is wanting me to do some electrical checks here so I've got him and Sarge on here with me today. Hey Fritz. <laughs> Hey guys, on? hey, how y'all doing? Sarge says, hey too. Hey Looks Sarge. Like he's kicking back a little bit. Yeah. But, uh, nah, Ray, man, uh, man, when you came out and you got that HS36 and you, you bought all kinds of new tools and everything, um, we do need to electrically test your furnace. And uh, we're not going to go crazy doing all kinds of wild stuff, but we are going to test, test your igniter, we're going to test your flame sensor, and a few other things. Um, dude, I think I'm looking at what you did, your condensation line, your gas line, all that new electric, everything looks excellent, brother. It does, excellent. doesn't it? It looks really good. But, uh, all right, man, uh, let's uh, get started here. And uh, we're going to show the folks how to get started on a cold furnace. The first test you want to do is the igniter test before you get started on anything. All right, guys. Hey, guys. All right, man. Now we're getting ready to test, test uh, Ray's igniter here. Um, Believe it or not, that furnace that he has at RGPH he's sitting on right there, it's 15 years old. I've never seen a furnace like that. And it's perfect. It's perfect. And he did such a great job on his condensate. He's got his uh, flow safety on there. He's regassed it, and, and he's got a ground water coming to the furnace. Now, what we're actually going to do here, now, guys, is uh, most of us would actually want to test that igniter first. And we do want to test that igniter cold. Now, most of us would think it should be within uh, 50 to 100 ohms, okay? A regular silicon carbide igniter, okay? But the thing is, uh, rain and rud is just a little bit different. And what they're actually running here is a Norton 201 carbide igniter. And this igniter goes up to, uh, I believe it's... Uh, 180 ohms. See, the thing is, guys, <clears throat> I have the exact furnace manual here, and I do that. I have that on several reams and rods. I have basically every one of them. But, uh, all right, Ray, you want to get started here? I want you to uh, remove those, uh, that clip right there from the male and the female side. Okay. All right, I got it loose. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and uh, hook up in there. You got set to arms? Yes. Okay. What are we reading? Just got to get my leads in here just a second. There we go. It's like we're going to settle on about 162 almost, 161. 162. Now, actually, if I came up on that and I didn't know any better, I'd say, oh, my God, that thing is well beyond out. Uh, didn't you buy another uh, one I told you to get just for a backup? Yes, I've, I've got my backup. i had it for a couple of years now. Well, let's, uh, let's test that backup and see if we're anywhere in the ballpark here. Okay. Pretty close, almost exactly the same. Dead on, dude, dead on. So that 15-year-old igniter you have in there is perfect. Yeah, it's still so, still uh, doing a good job. All right, guys, we're going to move on from here. We're going to go ahead over and we're going to test the flame sensor. That's a little involved, too. 
All right, guys, we just got done testing uh, Ray's igniter on his uh, RTPH 1997 model, which I think is incredible. Look how beautiful the furnace looks. It's, it's pristine. It's perfect. Now, uh, what we determined, though, was uh, on the ream itself, on the Norton 201, that's going to be a different ohm rating. Now, what we're actually going to do right now is we're going to uh, look right underneath the main gas manifold right there. And if you can see, it's only like an inch or two inches to get to the uh, the flame sensor there. So what Ray's actually done, we backed up and punted. We've actually got a wire going in there that has a female to male side. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this in series and we're going to test the, uh, the uh, uh, flame sensor itself. And we should be within, uh, I believe it's... Uh, on the on the flame sensor on the ring is 2.0 to 4.0 so uh let's uh let ray get everything hooked up right there and uh we're gonna go ahead and hit fire let's see what we got right okay ray i like how you took your lead out there off your uh you know on the female to the male side of the uh flame sensor um and you made sure that nothing's gonna ground out that's basically the only way you can actually do it on this system. I know it's kind of a nightmare. Rain does make great stuff, but on the flame sensor side of it, it's kind of a bear. All right, Ray, let's go ahead and fire the system up, brother, and see what we got. You okay. got it set to micro lamps, right? Yes, I do. All right, guys, we're reading 2.0 to 2.2, and that's the highest rating we got. I'm thinking that right now from the manual that I read, states 2.0 to 4.0. I did look in there, it is a little dirty. Right, let's, uh, let's shut her down and clean her up a little bit so we can get something better out of it. Okay. Okay, Ray, we're getting ready to fire again. You just cleaned that up real good with some emery cloth, and uh, you got it still set to micro amps. Let's see what we got, baby. Fire it up. Okay. Here we go. Alright, we'll we'll be seeing y'all but you guys on the next one. More to come. 